Now let's turn to Italy because the country is on the brink of forming its first populist government seven weeks after elections, where no single party or alliance won a majority. The breakthrough finally came when this man, this is, well, this is of course Silvio Berlusconi, the former prime minister. It came when he stepped aside from efforts to build a coalition. So this leaves the hard right league led by 48 year old Matteo Salvini to form a government with the anti-establishment five star movement which is led by 31 year old Luigi Di Maio. Now these two leaders will have to decide who will be prime minister. The prospect of a government run by these parties is another step in Europe's populist surge and the BBC's Sarah Moneta was at the Five Star headquarters on election night for us and I asked her earlier whether she was surprised that it's taken seven weeks to get us here. Well, I, I think everyone was surprised that it took so long because um, it was the only possible result, an alliance between these two parties. And if you see, even when they chose the um, a spokesperson um, of the two houses of parliament, it, it happened very quickly. It took only a couple of days when it usually takes weeks in Italy, which meant an alliance was about to be formed. Then what happened was that after the nomination of the two uh, spokesperson of speakers of the House, um, the Five Star Movement came under criticism because they uh, elected someone who was a loyalist of Berlusconi and therefore they try to distance themselves and say, wait a second, we want an alliance with you guys, but we don't want Berlusconi in the middle. So it was all to save their face. Now, what do you make of this? Five Star and the League, put this into context for us, because it's a first for Italy. It meant he reminded Italians that it's time to give more credit to Europe. This is because both the Northern League and the Five Star Movement are clearly anti-European Union. So Mattarella is trying to, to tell them you guys now you need to be like institutional parties is your time of being protest movement is done it's finished do you think they'll be able to do that because they're renowned they're populist they're anti-establishment anti-europe well um first of all we need to look at the northern league uh, because the northern league has been in power previously in Berlu with berlusconi governments um so they have more experience of uh, of government uh, so they are the ones who can actually try to moderate the Five Star Movement. The Five Star Movement is a big question mark. No one really knows what they're going to do next. And there's a question mark of over the leader of the Five Star Movement. He's very young. He's an unknown. He was... Just tell us a little bit more about him because he's a fascinating character. He is fascinating. Uh, he's 31 years old. He is a university dropout. Uh, he has never had a proper job in his life until five years ago he was selling beverages at the stadium uh, as a steward so he, he, he's also made fun of in Italy quite often because he doesn't speak Italian to a very high level so and now they say that this man he could end up being Italy's foreign minister who was in Italy covering that lots more as always on our